Today I will show you the Engel Powerball Mark I. One of my uh, favorite metal amps of all time is the Engel Powerball Mark I. And um, today I would like to share my deepest uh, impressions of this amp with you beautiful ladies out there. As you may know, the amp is uh, maybe called a um, metal amp, but in my opinion it's quite versatile and um, that is not the case with uh, every angle amp, but this amp can do a lot. So uh, let's take a look at the specs. Well the uh, amp is a two channel amp. One channel, um, the channel one uh, has two modes, a clean mode and a crunch mode. The channel 2 has also two modes, a low lead and a high lead. So in total you have uh, four modes, so to speak. And uh, we will start with the uh, first channel. So um, we are now in the uh, clean mode of channel 1. We have a bass middle treble control. In fact, um, in the, in the first channel we have a treble clean, which is a dedicated for the uh, clean mode. And then we have another, which is called treble crunch, which is um, yeah, dedicated to the other um, mode in this channel, the crunch mode. But now we are in the clean mode. Set uh, bass, middle and treble clean uh, at 12 o'clock. And, um, well, how does it sound? With my Schecter Banshee 6 FR with EMGs through my uh, Mar Marshall cabinet with vintage 30 speakers, 1960 win vintage cabinet, mic with an SM57, while well, we get this. see it uh, stays clean which is very nice and um, well um, the gain knob is now at uh, around uh, 10 o'clock and uh, let's see what will happen if we engage the bright switch so as you would expect some brightness is added so, uh, well, I think we don't need the bright switch, but it's a nice option, especially maybe if you are playing on the neck pickup. Let's dial out some mids. with most of the angle amps is they sound very good if you put uh, the tone stack knobs at uh, noon and it's always my starting point now they are all at 12 o'clock also we have a bottom uh, switch which we can engage I don't know if you can hear it but then a lot of um, bass frequencies is added but um, honestly I think you don't need that especially not in a clean sound if we crank the uh, gain a little bit, still in the clean mode, then um, we get a little bit of edge of breakup. But uh, honestly, I'd rather like the uh, the clean mode of the channel one to stay very clean. So this is the crunch mode. To me it sounds uh, very, um, well, a little bit British, like the famous ACDC crunch tone. <laughs> 
And um, yeah, let's see what will happen if we set the game to 12 o'clock. It sounds very, very nice to me. And this is something which uh, is a little bit difficult with ma many other angle amps. They are good at high gain tones. They, some of them, they have um, good clean tones, but um, with crunch tones, it's always a little bit of a struggle. But here, with the gain at 12 o'clock, everything at 12 o'clock, we have uh, still a very clean sound in the first mode, in the clean mode, in the crunch mode. A very usable crunch sound. Let's see what the treble crunch does. And as you can see, the treble crunch is also very effective and it doesn't affect the clean tone. So it's only for the crunch mode, which is very uh, intelligent, I think. By the way, we have a um, power amp section here where we can um, adjust the presence and the depth and also uh, we have two dedicated master volumes. So you can use this for maybe a little bit of a boost, the master volume, to, uh, when you're playing leads. But um, yeah, I don't set it that way. And um, I have to say the presence of the depth control, as I said before, maybe the amp is very bass heavy and has a lot of presence frequencies, you have to be very careful. And I tend to dial the presence way back. Usually I set it around uh, just seven o'clock. may sound a little bit dark at uh, low volumes, but now, um, as I said, the uh, master volume at nine o'clock, the channel volume at 10 o'clock, still more the bedroom level. And uh, yeah, the, uh, the top and tents get a little bit harsh in my ears. Okay, but I think most of you ladies are here for the high gain tones. So we will go now to the second channel. And um, well, the second channel has also two modes. We will start with the one which is called low lead. And here you don't have a bright and a bottom switch. Instead you have a bottom, low lead bottom and high lead bottom switch, which are now de um, disengaged. And um, you have a, another um, uh, pos uh, option. You can choose between open and focus as the mids, which I will show you in a second. The open mode is a little bit more scooped. And each of these modes, it goes for both a for the low lead and for the high lead mode, um, they have a dedicated mid uh, knob. So um, in total, maybe you will have six modes here with uh, together with the open focus mode. So now I'm in the open mode and uh, set everything at noon. The tone set is concerned, yes. And we are in the low lead channel, it sounds like... I don't know if you can hear it, but it sounds very scooped, very bass heavy. I think it's not that usable. In the open mode, I like to crank the mids a little bit and dial back the bass. So I will show you now the... Uh, the effect of the tone control in the low lead mode. If you dial back the mids here, you get very close, I think, to the uh, Black Album song from Metallica. But of course, it's very scooped, so it's not so usable. And uh, as I said before, I tend to raise the mids here.
as you can hear, uh, the amp is dead quiet if I'm not playing then because it has a built-in noise gate which is very effective and I will activate it. And uh, yeah, I think um, I like the, uh, the low lead uh, mode, especially with the crank mids and the, the open um, in the open mode and a little bit um, dialed back presence. So uh, this is the open sound. I will switch now to the focus one where we have another mid control. Let's see how that sounds. It's very mid focus as you can hear and um, I can dial back now the mids a little bit with this mode. But I think it, this mode works um, very well for leads, maybe. And uh, what else? Well, we have the low lead bottom switch. We can activate it now. But as you can hear, or I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, here the room starts to shake with the uh, low, uh, low lead bottom engaged. So I think I don't have a, um, a use for that. The amp is more bass than needed and we don't need to add more with the low lead bottom engaged. So um, what else? Well, um, of course we have another channel the um, high lead and um, now I will switch to that this is the low lead and this is the high lead both in the uh, focus mode I will go to the open mode now switching now between the um, low lead and the high lead they have a, a little bit of a different voicing to each other but other than that um, I think the um, the amount of gain is similar in both channels although the one is called low lead and now by the way I set the gain at um, 11 o'clock so you can imagine how much gain this amp has it's definitely not um, no use for a boost pedal here as far as the gain is concerned also, the, the amp stays very tight, although it has uh, lots of gain and also lots of bass if you want. But it's still very usable and yeah, it's a very flexible amp. In my opinion, it's uh, yeah, one of the most flexible angle amps uh, I know, although it doesn't have a um, um, dedicated tone stack controls uh, for each mode but as I said before at least you have the important things you have the treble for clean and treble for crunch and you have the mids for uh, low lead and um, uh, the mids for open and mids for focus and um, so in total maybe you will have six modes that you can use and uh, yeah I think it's far more than needed 
It's one of my favorite angle amps. Very easy um, to use, I think. But of course you need the, the right cabinet. Keep in mind that you have to be careful with the bass and with the priest frequencies here. So now I um, set the def punch, which is the def control of the power amp at 11 o'clock the whole time. The precinct was always between 7 and maybe 10 o'clock. Not higher than that. It's still enough uh, precinct frequencies for my taste. Well, I hope this helps you to get an impression of this phenomenal amp. And yeah, if you have um, experiences with that amp or questions, please post the comments below in the uh, comment section. Subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you soon. Bye.